Hello and welcome to my channel, Collectibles for Resale. My name's Charisma and I am a full-time uh, reseller. I sell on um, online e-commerce platforms such as eBay, Poshmark, sometimes Facebook Marketplace. I've sold maybe two or three things in the last couple months. Um, but primarily it's eBay and Poshmark. And um, I do have a myriad of hard goods, but um, started focusing more on jewelry. And um, that's what we're going to look at today. We've got a six pound mystery grab bag jewelry lot from an online auction. And um, I'm looking for vintage pieces, um, possibly designer precious metals. You know, they may, they, they do have machines to test things. So they send everything through, but every now and then they do miss things. Um, or if it's a person doing it, they may not know, um, like an old designer or something. So usually this is, um, if you're not familiar with reselling and you try to buy things at the lowest price possible, um, get the best deal on it, you know, the old saying, buy low, sell high kind of thing. And you want to turn that around, sell it slash flip it for a profit. And so that's, you know, you buy the goods undervalued, you do the work, you put in the work and hopefully you will make a profit on that. So that's what we're looking at today. These are more for fun. You know, some of these bucks, some of these bags cost 15, 20, 30, 40 dollars, depending on the weight and the shipping. Um, and most of the time I make at least my money back, at least if I go through and I will go through the pieces and whatever I decide I'm not going to keep, I'll put that into a crafter's lot and uh, box that up once it hits, you know, between five and 10 pounds and I can fit it in a flat rate and list those on eBay and get sell them that way. So um, also um, anything, if you see something you're interested in, I try to give prices as I'm going through. Um, if I say I don't know, I'm going to put it to the side that I'm going to research it. I may not be selling it um, directly through direct sales here on YouTube. But um, if there's anything you're interested in, feel free to shoot me an email. It's my name, collectibles for resale at gmail.com, my store name. And um, shipping under a pound is $6.00. Um, anything over a pound is just going to be, um, priority, but I do try to put it in the, um, least expensive way for you to go priority. There's a lot of flat rate options, padded envelopes, boxes, depending on how big, um, how many items you were purchasing. So, um, if you like something in the video, if you can, the way to do it, to screenshot, um, so that I can just find it very easy. If you are watching the video, you can pause it at the moment that the item is on the screen. You know, within those few seconds, whatever it is, I'm going to try and pause to show each thing. Um, and then you actually type in the time that you see on the screen and then type, you know, whatever it is. If I say a bracelet, $4, you could do that. Once you hit enter, it's going to give a clickable timestamp. And so that helps me to be able to find your items really easily. So, um, Again, you can send an email if you want to list the items and the times and the stuff. But honestly, the super, super easy way is just to do a timestamp. If you're able to, if you're watching on your phone, it's really easy. You can just click, pause, and type that in. So um, I appreciate everyone that's watching. If you're new, I ask that if you would um, consider subscribing if you like the content. If you're a um, subscriber already and you watch the channel, I appreciate you coming back. And if you watch but you haven't subscribed... Um, I'd ask that you would consider doing so, you know, it's free to do and it really helps my channel. So, um, and I love interacting with you guys. Um, I'm still somewhat of a novice. I'm a little bit, I know enough to be dangerous. So I'm not a connoisseur yet of, uh, jewelry, but I'm learning. And if, um, there's something that I'm not sure of, or you can educate me on, I so appreciate positive and, um, I was gonna say positive feedback. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to think of the word, but yes, if you have anything that you can share, I appreciate it. So now after rambling for four minutes, let's get into it. So here is the bag. This one was, I can just wait it right now. It's a little over six pounds. So, and this is the security tag that this particular store does when they have their auctions so that, you know, nobody has pulled anything out or done any funny, funny business. Um, so, uh, you know what? I'm going to I was going to dump it out here, but let's put that into a little bin and then I will sort through and I can put the items I don't want on the side of my crafter's lot section going over on the side. I've got my Presidium gem tester heating up. It's ready to go. If there's anything I want to test, I've got my measuring tape. I can check the 
length of the necklaces or bracelets. Oh, that's what. Hi all, it's Charisma. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave my original opening clip attached to this video, but um, something or someone did not want me doing this video. I had so many issues and had to start and stop and start and stop. My camera fell, my light broke, all kinds of stuff. Just like, I think this is the fifth or sixth time. So I said, you know what? Full transparency. I mean, I haven't like looked and gone, but I had already started going through it and giving prices. And it was like, I just had to scrap everything. So since I already did that uh, several times, I've just went ahead and separated. My crafter's lot is on the side. I've got um, the pieces separated. This is bracelets. I'm going to just go over the earrings. Necklaces are over here. And I'm going to try and just do it faster. Show the piece for, you know, three, four seconds and then move along. And I'll show my crafter's lot at the end because I know some people do like to get pieces out of there. Those pieces are a dollar unless, you know, stated otherwise. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start it and let's, let's get into this. So this was originally, well, it is still, but it was like a six and a half, seven pound auction lot um, jewelry win from uh, an online haul. So I've got my different earrings here. Now here are the two, like, I want to cry. Here is an Alexis Batar. It's only one piece. And um, some of the stuff that has gunmetal and these kind of hoops um, go for like 100 to $150. This is secondhand market, um, secondary market. So new, they can be up to like four or $500. It's beautiful, but only one. And this little gunmetal scratch. So I do have a bag that I'm keeping and I have tons of like single vintage designer stuff. And I'm going to make one big lot um, and do like an auction on eBay for like one-off designer piece because I know people can I mean you can easily make it into a pendant or necklace you know whatever so I'm keeping all the really nice ones here's the other sad one um Les Bernard in case you've never seen that one yeah beautiful it's got this faux pearl and gold tone so a set like this in a different shape sold for $90 I'm like uh uh it's so sad okay so these are my two little designer pieces I'm just gonna put those in a baggie because those are going into a separate lot that I have going that eventually, hopefully, will pay off. You know, if not, it's no big deal. I'm just, I already got them. So, so let's see. We'll go through all these earrings. I'll start off with the ones, the higher, and then they're going to go to the lowest. So this pair is probably the most expensive. I love these. Um, these are five inches, rose gold, geometric shape, dangle, beautiful. So here's our good look at it. And let's say three dollars on this pair. I'm gonna start putting the earrings in little baggies too right now while I'm doing this. Okay, here's another gorgeous pair. Seed beads, and they've got that ombre effect with the gray and the peach. I think these are from a boutique or something that I can't see a maker's mark. They just have their little handwritten thing. So three on these as well. And let's see, what's this pair? I have a brand new pair, Charming Charlie's. I think these were 14 or 18 new. So I would do three on these. They're like a hollow filigree disc. Really pretty. I don't think I've ever had Charming Charlie earrings that I knew of because there's I wouldn't know um, unless I saw this to look it up. So three on these. Oh, goodness. Here we go. It's going to have a little more Barky McBarkerson in the background. I'm so sorry. Um, oh, this one is missing one. Okay. So that's going to go into crafters. These are cool. They're like that stretch mixed metal, but that one doesn't have the last piece. Okay. And then I love, love, love these. I know they're not like necessarily anything. They kind of look like that Shirola that they sell, um, in like Nord Nordstrom and little boutiques. Really pretty. Um, really cool design. Got a nice clip. I don't see a maker's mark. Feels like wood. And then this gold tone. So three on these. These are gorgeous. Look at that shell. Beautiful, this black stone. So, let's put that on the back. So, three on these. And this last pair of $3. These are just gorgeous. Look at these with the hangle dangy, hangy, hangle dangle. Yeah, that's a new word. A dangling, <laughs> hanging beads, different colors. Um, yeah, you can see them. I, my mouth no worky today, so just having a day. All right, so those are all three dollars. Then these are going to be two dollars. Look at these; these are so cool. Look at that slick 
black side and a really pretty it's not really animal print but it's like gray and then it's got these little black splotches to me they just look like a real cool piece of art so this these next few are going to be two dollars a piece trying to just make it easy like okay that was all three these are all two okay i've got these these are a nice pair usually when you find like this kind of earring it's going to be totally just the everything's going to be rubbed off and they're going to be totally faded and jacked up so this is nice to get a new pair on card um, the card is kind of wonky, but it's okay. The earrings are perfect. So $2 on this silver tone pair. Okay, we've got this Make-A-Wish. They have these little wire hanging beads. Really nice condition too. Um, no maker that I can see. But these are a nice hoop. So $2 on those. These little pretty bad boys, little pink stone. I'm trying to think in my mind. I can't even think of what shape this is. Uh, my God, rectangular. Or, I, I can't even think right now. So at $2 on these, they're clip-on. Really pretty pink facet it's down there. Got these large twisted, looks like cream and silver tone enamel hanging hoops. $2 on these. And these, um, I'm going to show them, but I'm going to put these aside. I can't see a maker's mark, but this looks very much like a pair I've seen before, an old designer pair. So I'm just going to put these aside. I doubt anybody would even want these that's watching this, but they're cool. Um, and that little stone is loose right there. So I wouldn't want to sell them to somebody like that. But I'm going to look into these just to go in my little, my little project. And let's see, we've got two pairs. These are great for Valentine's Day will be coming up. Um, we've got this pair, I need a little bit of cleaning at the red round stones and these as well. Oh, actually, I thought they were different, but I think they are the same. So dangle hoops, oh, $2 on these. And this is another pair that's looks like vintage. So I'm going to keep these aside just to kind of look into these. I'm trying to figure out what this little... I know it's a stopper for it, but I was trying to see if it had like an initial. These are kind of cool. They look like little Ramy little acorns. They're kind of neat. So, uh, and I had my gloves on earlier, but I already they they were filthy. So I pretty much I think I took off all the dirt that was hanging, but um, who knows? And so I have these. Um, I sold a bracelet to my good friend Margaret that was a Brighton. Uh, I can't remember the name of this the design. It was like meadow something, but I swear. It looks so much like these. Um, I can't find a Brighton marking here. I don't know if they do mark the earrings or not, but um, if, even if they're not, it's such a pretty design, those floral. So these have a little fish hook. I'm gonna do two on those. Oh yes, we have these pretty little uh, clear stones and little teardrop faux pearls. They have a really nice little iridescent shine to them. They have the post back in, and a lot of these don't have um, backs, the closure, but I, if I find something, I'll just throw them on there. I know I've got extras laying around. Um, let's see. And those are all going to be one. Okay, so this pair, I like these. Very cool. Look very 80s. They've got like that loose side on top. Um, the back, this thing, I was trying to move it. It moves around, but I mean, it, it's movable, but it's not going to break off, so... Um, I really like these. I just like the components of it. I like it, the design. It's nice. So two on these, but you know, this is a little crooked and you can mess with it. If you have the tool, you could just like straighten it out, but I don't. So <clears throat> that is something that I'm next thing I'll be doing. I try to do things in like spaces. Okay. I've done X, Y, Z. So now I'll move on to the next thing. Okay. Get all these together. Okay. And then this last little pair of these little knots with posted hoop they look vintage this card has seen way better days it's very very old looking but i think these are so cute so two on these little knots these were going to be two but i think they have yeah this one has a little bit of that oxidation tarnish so i'm going to leave those for one so that's the last of the two dollar bag well two dollars a piece um, just to separate them. 
All right. Let's see what else. Okay, so we've got these. They look like uh, metal silver quartz looking rectangular post areas. So these are a dollar. If I don't see anything, I would just say they're all kind of as is. I mean, for a dollar, you know, they may need to be clean. They may, you know, have something loose or whatever. But I'm going to point out if I see anything. So these are cute. I liked these. It's like a flower design with that clear stone, but they do have that green, a little bit of green oxidation on the back. So these would need a good cleaning. Those are a dollar. I keep saying it. These are a dollar. I already said this is the dollar lot. So yeah, these are all a dollar. Um, these orange hanging clear stone pair. Okay, we've got this. These feel like plastic. Very light. These are very lightweight. Um, if I wore stuff like this, it would just get caught up in my hair and come out because my hair is so long and heavy. So just keep that in mind if you don't like wearing lightweight stuff because it comes off. These are super light, little plastic. But if you don't like heavy stuff, you like lightweight, these are perfect. So it's got that green with the flower cut out. So you know how much they are. I'm not going to keep saying it. Okay. So we've got these pink fast fashion little fishing hook hanging. Really cute uh, little shape of the stone there. So that's that pair. And here's a cool little pair with alternating. It's got little squares of this orange color and then the brown spacer, brown little disc. That's that pair. These are pretty. These have that uh, peachy color square post back dollar. <laughs> hard not to say it. It's hard not to say it. I stopped myself and then I was like, I ain't gonna say it. Just in case somebody comes in and isn't like watching it exactly the whole way through. So if they come in, they're like, how much is that? dollar. These are a dollar. Little black lacy filigree dangle fishing hook. You know how much they are. Dollar. Oh, these are not for sale, but I'm going to show those to you in a second. We've got these old looking pink, well not pink, like orange coral looking flower screw back earrings. A dollar. I'm just going to say it low. <clears throat> uh, I'm feeling very lightheaded right now, so a little goofy, and then having all these troubles with trying to just get this freaking video loaded. Forgive me, I'm a little cuckoo right now. So these little dangle uh, with the little multi faux pearls. There's that pair. I know these were a pair. Let's see, where are they? Here we go. These dangles got tangles. Let's see. Yeah, I know they weren't like that. I think they got like that right now, but you can mess with them a little bit. But for a dollar, you can't beat that, right? So there's a little pair there. Let's see these dangle multicolored like gemstone kind of looking. Got a little iridescent spacer there. And it's like a faux pearl on this orange little stone, plastic, whatever it is. So there's that pair. These are really cute. Got that black teardrop, faceted stone, and it's got these. They're not really clear. To me, they look more like a light blue. I don't know if you can see that in the light. And they've got the dangle hooks. So that's that pair. Here are, to me, this looks like a crane. I was immediately thinking Karate Kid, Sweep the Leg, the crane. That's what it reminded me of. So, that's that. For you youngsters, there was a Karate Kid movie back when I was a teenager, back when I was young, in the 80s. Now they have a whole new show, the Cobra Kai and whatever, whatever. But the original, that's the good stuff. Uh, these little purple... Stones, a dangle hook. Okay, that's that pair. These are really cute. I would have separated these, but the same thing. They've got that little oxidation on the back, if you can see. So, these need a little cleaning, little TLC. Very cute, though. If you like these, match the other thing, the other pair. But 
just smaller. I like these. These are cute. Got an open heart, like a filigree design. And then this is like almost like a puff heart, but it's more raised. A little silver tone there. Silver tone action. Definitely all of these need a good cleaning. It's all around those. Let's see. Okay. Got these marbled, looks almost brownish gray, black spacer dangle, old beads, fish hook. Okay, there's that bear. Similar but with clear stones and little silver tone. Really cute. So there's that pair. I'm gonna make a good time. It's coming along. Okay. This looked like they were, maybe one is missing one or they were shorter, but no, I think it's, okay, it's just the hook that's, this hook is longer than this one, so that would be something you'd have to swap out. Oh, you know what, in the bottom right there, yep, it's missing something here. Okay, crafters, this, somebody may know, I'm not asking, I'm, I'm not really that concerned. These are just going to go into uh, the crafters lot anyways dollar same thing you say game day so i come to believe i know i've sold a lot of visors and different things from colleges and different stuff like that i feel like this is the colors of like i'm just gonna make up you know michigan whatever tigers i don't know but this is what it looks like to me this feels almost like suede but it's not i'm sure and a little orange tassel but these look like game day colors so those are cute that's gonna be a dollar i'm just gonna throw it in the crackers for now and these pretty little fast fashion enamels. Yellow, pretty flowers with a little clear stone. Adorable. That's a good deal, right? Dollar on that. These I'm going to separate for now because I have something that these look very similar. So I might match them up and make like a little set to sell. Um, these earrings are, what is that? American Eagle Outfitters. It says June of 17, so I guess they're not current, but they're tiny for a young lady or small child, maybe, or a woman who likes little tiny earrings if you're very petite. I'm just not. So dollar on those. Those are new on card. Let's see. Got a little, two little beater. We've got black bead and a little white one. So dollar on that little pair. This is another one, the little hook came off. So, but it is a cool pair. It looks like a little geometric, like ice sculpture almost to me. Looks very 80s. I like this part in the front here. So there's nothing wrong with the, the I can't think of this on a jump hook, but the right here where you would attach your hook. So if you're crafty, DIY, dollar on those. You've got the pair, I'll keep them in here for now so they don't get separated. Gotta keep them separated. But in this case, we'll say keep them from getting separated. Okay. And so these, I pulled them out and I was like, these look nicer than just a little cheapy costume. These are Monet. So, of course, Monet is much better. I don't know if you can see. Um, let's see if I can get that maker's mark to show you. But the nice thing about it, it's not just a hallmark. It's actually the name. So, if you can see here. Let's see where it was. There we go. So it's hard to do it at an angle, but I know I can see it. Hopefully you guys can see it, but it's right there. So many. These are nice. Lovely little earrings. They clip. Usually they're um, screw back. So I like these and they're dainty, but not teeny tiny where you're going to lose them. I have a little black stone, cold stone. So those are going to be listed probably on eBay. Oh, I forgot about these little babies. These little dollar uh, Halloween candy corn. So those are cute. I don't know. Yeah, no brand or anything. I mean, they have the tag. It's probably made in China. So uh, if you don't like stuff that makes noise, these definitely make a little bit of noise. So <laughs> they're cute. All right. So, oh, before we go on to the bracelets, here's what was in there. That's necklace uh, pendants. It's kind of a little separate. So let's see. So we've got this cute little butterfly pendant. And no maker's mark that I can see. It's got a nice bill there. Really pretty. It looks like blue, like blue side on the wings. So I would do two on this. Oh, is that Premier Design? You know what? That is Premier Design. 
Uh, yeah, that's cute. I like this. I'm not going to raise, change the price. I know some of their stuff is good and some of it is, you know. It's really cute, though. It's not just, like, some super off -plan. Okay, we've got this long black. It looks like a, what would be, like, when you see the crystals, the quartz, but it d doesn't feel like that. You know what? I turned off my for a second. I should leave it on to check this and see. I'll come back to that. So we have this pretty red, white, and blue heart. It could be America, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, which is part of yes too. But it reminds me of like some bracelets I've seen that have that really pretty little heart pendant. So subscriber price, $2. All right. I am loving this. I love these designs. Round. Let's look at these brown like cabochons that look kind of like tires out here. Here. And, oh, there is a maker. Let's see what this, we can find that. I just saw it. Park Lane. Okay. I don't know what Park Lane is. I'm not sure if that is a expensive brand or not. But this looks well made and it's nice and it's heavy. Um, I kind of like this. I'm going to research this one and put it aside for now. If you're interested, you can email me though either way and I'll let you know. And this is just Gorge. I don't see a maker's mark on the back. Look at that bad boy. Beautiful. It's like a, a pretty picture picture frame with like the pink quartz, uh, not quartz, but um, this pink stone here in the middle. It's just like super shiny. It gives off some nice little fire there. We've got these like, they look like carnival glass colored little stones. We'll see, we'll be, oh no, mm, sad face, I just saw this is missing one. I was going to say eight on this, but nope, there's a stone missing right here. This thing is still beautiful, so if somebody, I don't want to just craft it out, but if somebody wants this, I would do three. If you are handy and can replace that, you get a good deal. So three bucks on that, it's beautiful. Okay. Let's check these little bad boys over here just to make sure they feel like plastic. But usually these are some kind of stone or cord. But let's see. Okay. So this is ringing up glass. Sorry. Uh, if you want to see that. Here's my Presidium tester. But with the light, it's kind of giving off a glare. Okay. So here we go. It's at zero. And once I test it, you can see the line going up right there onto the glass. So this is glass. So I would do three on this. It's got that pretty silver tone attachment. You can wear that on a pendant. I mean, this is a pendant on a chain. Durr. Okay. This is pretty glittery. I don't think this is, I think this is plastic, but you know, you never know. Well, it's reading glass, so what do I know? Okay. This is really cute too. I like this. I like that glittery vibe. So I would do three on this as well. Don't get too many pins and pendants, but it's nice to get a different variety. So this says, Casey, looks like, mm, yeah, Casey. I don't know if you can see that. So maybe I guess it's Kenneth Cole. I'm not sure. That's the only Casey I can think of because it doesn't look like super vintage where it would be like some designer that I don't know. I love this, but problem number one. That stone is going to be hard to replace, I would imagine. This is so pretty. That's too bad. I definitely would have asked for more, but I'll do a dollar on this. I don't want to put in the crafters. I want somebody to make a new life of that. It's beautiful. See that little stone? And these were in a little plastic baggie. So let's see what this is. Okay. So little separate pendants. Just, just I don't know why it looks like. Fabergé, Fabergé egg to me. Really cute. It does have a hole drilled there. I guess you could make it like for, to go through there. But um, it does have the hanging bezel here. So I like this a lot. I would do three on this. And these two need to stay together because clearly they're cute and they go together. Not really, but their hearts. So it's that, that uh, glitter, kind of copper color, and this clear. So I would say a dollar for both of those. You can have them together. They're so cute. OK. 
Okay. I feel like I'm talking to my dog. He's got an inflated ego because I'm always telling him, you're so cute. You're so cute. I love you so much. You're the cutest dog ever. You heard me and you're like, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think I say it a little too much, but that's okay. He's a good boy. He deserves it. Yes, my good boy. Okay, so let's do the bracelets. Put these over where there's not as many bracelets. I'm going to start with the heartbreak first. So every time. So this little bad boy has a very strong magnet. It was like sticking to everything. Look at this beautiful, beautiful bracelet. Look at that. Like peachy cabbage on there. And look at these. I might have even kept it because I kept the other bracelet that had doggies. This has little paw prints. Everything is there. All the little stones are there. Nothing's missing. Looks like Marcus I kind of around there. Pretty blue cabochon. But, and see it, how it matches up. Look at the design. It's like a sun. When you put it together, wah, wah, it's missing the magnet part. So it's not sticking there. Um, if you can put a little magnet in there, if you know how to do that. Man, I wish I knew how to do that. Sorry. Uh, I think it's a package, a UPS or FedEx. So, so he's not going to stop probably for a few minutes. It's beautiful. Oh, I wish I could fix that. I wish I knew how to repair that. If this sits in my crafter's lot and nobody buys it, I may just hold on to it. And then when I'm doing my little project and trying to learn how to fix things, this would be a perfect one to learn. If I could figure out how to put in a magnet or something to so that this would stay together because I would totally wear this. I love it. I was going to ask for 12, but because of that, I would do four on this. It's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Ugh, so unfortunate. And look at this little baby. Perfect for St. Patrick's Day. All the green stones. Nice, really nice stretch. Trivative little see their beads here. All different shades of green. Two dollars on that. Okay. This is the next one that I love. No heartbreak. This is great. It's everything's nice. Everything's good. No issues. So let's see. You can get a good look at that. It's these gorgeous flowers. They've got blue, pink, green, clear stones in there to make up the flowers. And then it has that really nice, very heavy duty, like magnetic closure. Kind of like a clamper, but you know, magnetic. It's just beautiful. Look at that. I love it. I love the fire on this. So pretty. So this little bad boy, I'll do $5. And it measures right about seven and a half. So pretty. Seven and a quarter, seven and a half. That's just gorgeous. Okay, we got this purple. Should I put this in crafters? Um, I dollar on this. I think somebody could do something with it or they could wear it if they like it. Dollar on the purple. These are so pretty. I had a necklace like this one into a crafters lot. It's got that red stretch underneath. Um, but they are a little scratch. They need a little bit of cleaning. So if you want to do any work on that or you want to wear it as is, it's very pretty. Dollar on this red bracelet stretch. All right. Now, I don't know what this originally looked like. I feel like it doesn't look like something is missing, but I feel like you wouldn't leave an open like window pane, you know, um, picture frame like that with the cord showing. But it's so pretty. The rest of it is so pretty. I love this white rose and these how lights and this. It's just really pretty. Um, I just wonder. Yeah, these are glass. Actually, it's going up to quartz. I'm back to glass. Okay. Yeah, these are so pretty, the components on here. Um, but to me, I would not like the string showing. So I don't know if it's missing something or not. I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to do two. I would... Maybe do more if I didn't have that opening there, but you know, as is like that, it's fine like that, but I just questioned that if it was originally that way. Look at these pretty colors. These feel almost like, almost like I want to say like rubber. I don't, they're not, but I don't think so. But then they're smooth, but they just have that feel to them. There's, this is really pretty. I like this a lot. And then these silver tone beads, spacers. So two on this one. Here we have multi-link stone. Yeah. Looks like some kind of maker back here. 
Let's see what we can see. Premier design, I believe. Sure does look like it to me. This little crown, it would go this way, but yeah. I can see that. So we've got a pretty little Premier design. Pretty stones. I like this. This one does, no, okay, I thought it had a scratch. But yeah, this is a nice piece, it has a nice lock. Let's see how that works. Good, everything's good. So it's about a seven. Uh, this piece I would do five on, very nice. Okay, we've got this multicolor clamper, gold tone accent. It's got this mint green and this vibrant bright green. Magnetic closure clamper bangle. Can I add any more names to it? <laughs> and so there it is on. Really pretty. So this one I would do two on. I don't see a maker's mark. And of course, that's a little stretch to it, but it's about seven and a half. So there's a good look at that. Two-tone mint and forest green clamper. We've got these. I like the little color, the little fire they're giving off. Really pretty. Like minty color. Triveted stones there, little beads. Um, yeah, I like this a lot. It's a really pretty color. We'll do two on this. Okay, I have this little lifesaver closure. And let's look at these. I don't know why this immediately reminded me of like a puffer fish. <laughs> I get an Asian vibe somewhere from this. I'm not sure where it's coming from in my head. Or some people would say up your, from your butt, talking out your butt, but it's so cute. I just love all the little components. Very neat. This looks like sushi to me. I don't know why. If somebody knows if this is a, an Asian theme thing, it just gives me that vibe. But it's so cool. Either way, whatever it is, I like it. I like all these little different pieces. So, yeah. That's oh, that little lifesaver closure. I would do four on this piece. It's super cute. Super duper cute. And that is right about seven. Okay. And it looks like, yeah, these are, I didn't get a chance to even look at these. Are they the same? Or this one, yeah. So yeah, it's got that space of the uncolored stones and then this flat silver, then the colored enamel there, then the spacer, yeah. So we'll do these as a set because they go together. Um, I was gonna do like four pieces. I'll just do both for five. I think these are nice, they're kind of heavy duty. They're heavy, they're really pretty. Very nice. And I don't know if I mention, I'll try and put it also in the comments. I usually just have that in there. But um, it's um, $6 for under a pound. And that's because PayPal charges. I, I have a business account. I don't do it friends and family. That way you're protected and I'm protected as a seller. Because if you buy something from somebody and you just do it like friends and family and you don't know them, they just turn around and your money's gone and there's no recourse for you or for them. I mean, they would be the ones doing that. So in order to avoid that, I use my business account. But unfortunately, the business account, they do charge me. So like if somebody, somebody sent me like $34 yesterday, I got 31 Okay, that's not your fault. But... For the fee of the shipping, since they charge me on that, I just do the extra dollar because normally I would charge five and I kept realizing that my I kept losing money because of that. So $6, It's and I also add in insurance and stuff, so um, it covers all that. Now, if it's over a pound, it's going to go whatever the flat rate um, fee is. That includes um, USPS gives you insurance up to 100 I think, and... Um, it's just based on your zip code. Um, flat rate is usually just like it is, says one one rate doesn't matter where. So that's the way we do it. Okay, another premier design. You can see that. So this has a really cool. It's not exactly lifesaver, but it's the same kind of deal here. It's got this really cool like wave shaped, and it's got these nice looking looks like a silver pearl, faux pearl, and these. Uh, I guess they're like caramel color. I'm not really sure. That's what comes to my mind. Gold tone. This is so pretty. And it's got this little chain underneath. So, yeah. I like this one a lot. I would do four on this piece. This, I think, is just beautiful. 
these stones. Usually the stretch are not this heavy. It's like, this thing is substantial. It's like very heavy. I was trying to think. It's not like you could even know the difference, but I could put the scale up here and weigh it, but I'd have to move stuff. So, but this, this thing is honking. It's a big one. And I love this. So we've got red stones, orange stones. And I'm like, look at these designs. I don't see anything missing either, which is amazing. I'm just going through, making sure. Nope, I don't see anything missing. None of these stones that I can see. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. So this is just gorgeous. There's underneath. I don't see a maker. But um, this one is, this is a really nice little special piece. So I would do six on this piece. Okay, here we have these wooden little beads. Got the barrel class. That works. Very lightweight. Super lightweight. So a dollar on this. <laughs> this is so cute. I hadn't seen these because it just was taking out like anything broken. These are adorable. I love these little skulls. So if somebody wants this three, if not, I'm just gonna keep it. It's so cute. I love that. All right. Got this little pearl bracelet. I'm actually gonna separate this and put it in my lot of pearl stuff that I'm researching and figuring out. Okay, so we've got another little link with enamel. Oh, let's see. I think I see a maker here. I didn't even realize this was. Yep. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to angle it so where you can see it, but that is Monet. Okay, some of the enamel didn't, I mean, didn't seem like a set, um, anything especially like expensive, but I'll look into this one. Anything Monet. I like it usually can command a little bit more just because it's a higher end. <coughs> okay. And we have this really cool, looks like art project blew up and threw up on here. And I love it though. It's really cute. Um, all kinds of little design. You gotta be careful when your finger across. It feels like it would get cut, but it's got this little gold, gold beading all the way across. Somebody did, that's a lot of work, a lot of work to make this and uh, bangle. This gold tone, it is a little, tarnished inside missing a little bit of color in there but i mean it's a nice bangle nonetheless so that's about eight um, i would do two on this piece so we'll say the seed bead art project bracelet <laughs> that's how you can describe it it's really cool okay so i absolutely love this i want to say it's wood but it doesn't feel feel smoother like like a good plastic, but not like the cheapy one that just flies away. But it's uh, it's fairly heavy. It's it's not like super light. I don't know, but I am digging the style on this. Just just the style, and I like the weight. It's not like cheaply made. You can feel it feels good. It's like an eight. Um, yeah, this one I would do five on. I really like this a lot. Okay, got this stretch. I like this really pretty blue little stones in here. We've got one on, the t one on each side and one in the middle. Let's see if they're all there, hopefully. And then you've got a little spacer. Okay, so see, that one has it, this one does. I don't know if that's by design, because the rest of them look like they have it. I mean, I never would have even paid attention, but I just noticed that right now. So it looks like there would have been one there and it's missing, but the stretch is fine and you can't tell. I mean, so this is a nice one um, because of that little missing. Okay, my goodness. It's just been um, a process getting this video done. I've had so many issues. Um, <laughs> This ran out of total storage and everything shut down and things slipped over and I was like somebody doesn't want me to make this video so um I'm just gonna try and finish this out this is like the 5,000th time that I'm gonna try and finish so luckily I just like stopped where I was so this, I know I was talking about one of the bracelets but um here we go so here's a little set of two of these little they're just little stretch but pretty one is rose gold one is uh, gold tone with the rhinestones, like like an open stretch tennis bracelet. So 
for the two of them together, I would do two, uh, $2. They're really cute. They go together. Um, we have this. I'm thinking maybe it's an anklet because it's kind of large. I think it is. Let's see. Or maybe not. Maybe just because I had it stretched out. But okay. So it's like seven and three quarters. So I think you could learn as a bracelet or an anklet if you use the extender, depending on how big you know your wrist or your ankle is. But look at how cute that is. It's a dolphin with this little blue stone in it. Really cute on this black cord. It's got these two silver spacers. So I would do a dollar on that. This is really cute. It does look like it needs a little polish because it just like the silver isn't like bright. I mean, it could have been like that. I mean, it does. Have, there is that antique kind of silver color. I'm not sure. So, but I mean, I think it's really cute. Got a lot of cute little stuff on it. Um, a little princess charm, peace sign, happy face, peace sign, love, 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 a heart. Yeah, I don't know how good. I mean, the stretches seems okay, but I don't know how long, you know, but these components are really nice. So I would just do a dollar on that. And it's, you know, as is the stretch is not probably going to last forever, but you probably could just do something with all those pieces. And I love this piece. It's like um, gold. Like it's kind of like, I, I want to, I always call it shrinky, like the shrinky dinks things. That's what it reminds me of or slinky. Um, it has that where you can squeeze it and make it whatever size. Really pretty beads. Look at these pretty blue Look at those. They're so cute. Yeah, so this one's adjustable and uh, like a wire. And you can just um, wear it however you like. I don't see any maker, but I think this is nice. So I would do two on this. All right, so we're done with bracelets, I believe. Got our necklaces, last thing, and then we're done. And then I'm gonna be done with <laughs> video for a few days, because this was just, I don't know what was going on, but Something was testing me. So this piece I'm not gonna put for sale right now. I just wanted to show it's so pretty and um, ask for my any of my more seasoned jewelry sellers um, feedback. At first I got excited, thought, oh, it's Tory Burch. No, it's not. But um, this Hallmark, I Googled did image search. I tried searching like for, I didn't even know how to describe it exactly, but it's so pretty. Um, I love the stones. They look like quartz, like gray. It's just, it's just gorgeous. Very heavy, well-made, not like heavy, like sometimes the cheap stuff is heavy because it's just like, I don't know, but uh, I love this. I love this piece. So if anybody knows who this maker is, um, I asked about it in a Facebook group, but didn't get a response. So um, I have been trying to find it just with image searches and to no luck. Okay. And this, I thought it was a Chico's, but I don't see any um, maker's mark on it. I just think this is just beautiful. And I'm a sucker for like nautical theme kind of things. We've got this gorgeous starfish and uh it's just so pretty and it looks it looks very well made i just i can't believe there's not any kind of maker's mark on this thing but um yeah this one i would definitely let's see that's 20 inches total um this one i would definitely sell it's got that pretty blue cabochon pink stone this is gorgeous i would probably sell this for 25 so um i would do 12 for subscribers it's just beautiful just beautiful and it does have this little heart, but it doesn't say Betsy Johnson or anything. It kind of reminds me of like her style a little bit. Very pretty. So there's that piece. Let's see. This one says gunmetal. Charming Charlie. So this one's pretty. Got these pretty flowers. And has it's on the retail card. It was originally 18. Um, it's going to be a little bit longer than this because I'm measuring it on the card. It goes down to 10. So I would imagine it's about two inches longer or so. Um, so this one I would do five on just because it's brand new with the card. So pretty. Mm, this one. I haven't looked at all of these. Um, I'm trying to fix my 
recording and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't see any kind of maker's mark. So, very pretty. Um, now, this is the case where it's like, it feels very light. So, I don't think it's like an expensive brand, but it's pretty. And it's just like for for the look, for the style, for the fashion. So, that's 20. And then with the pen, it goes down to 13. So I would do three on this one. It's really cute. It's another pretty fast fashion piece. Silver tone. Oh, you okay, bud? Um, let's see. This looks like it says NWT, which never heard of that. So I don't know if you can see that. But um, yeah, nonetheless, it's pretty fast fashion. Um, it's got these coral peach pink stones on there it goes down to 11 and then with the um, pendant it ends at 13 so that's one i would do two dollars on it's another one that feels very light and this one's at the end of the extender oh yes this feels like glass i'm pretty sure this is glass Let's see. I thought it was just plastic, but I think so. We will do. I haven't used it. Oh, let's see. all right. There we go. Okay. Now I'm really just at the point. It's like <laughs> I just give up. So I'm gonna try and finish this. Um, I'm not been feeling well either, and just stuff keeps happening. <laughs> That keeps falling and breaking. I don't know. It's like I, sh I shouldn't be making this video, but I need to make one. I gotta get this stuff up and listed after this. So, Ugh. okay. So, I want to check if this is glass. Here's my presidium. Thank God I didn't drop that and break it. And so, here we go. If you can see, it's going from the nothing up to the middle of the glass. So, this is pretty multicolored pendant. Um, let's put that up now. I don't think there's anything else to check. And this measures 10, so it's 20 inches. And I would do $3 on this piece. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really like this. I'm pretty sure this isn't like any kind of gemstone or glass or anything, but that's why we have it, right? So we're going to double check. Uh, the needle barely moved on glass. I don't think so. But um, this is really cute. Pretty pendant with this gold tone dangle necklace. And it does have the extender. So I have it all the way at the end of the extender. So that's the longest. It's 14 with the pendant. It goes down to 16. And then the dangle goes all the way down to 19. So potentially up to like almost 40 inches hang, hanging. Um, but this takes up. A few inches of that as well so and again that's on the longest so you could make it shorter and hang a little bit less so really pretty so i would do five on this piece nice clean let's see okay this actually looks more vintage I know they use these kind of closures in Europe and on vintage pieces. Um, this might be good for a friend of mine was looking for something. I might just go ahead and put this aside. Make sure that it's a good shape. Mm. Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay. So this one is actually going to be saved for personal put that aside okay and this would just be a dollar it's really just for the little turtle pendant it's a cheapy little plastic necklace it's good for a kid or something like that but components but yeah it's a cute little turtle it's got little pink stones and black stones so a dollar is going to go in the crafter's lot <clears throat> okay i guess that chico's yep chico's tag here that's pretty. It's a brown, dark brown cord. And it's got this hammered disc. There's the Chico's stamp on the back and it's got its little hang tag. So at the longest, that goes to just shy of 10 inches. 
not like nine and three quarters. And then with the pen and it goes right, right to 11. So I would do three on this piece. I think this is a nice one. Good condition. Okay. These are pretty. One graduated cream colored and they look like almost marbles. Little brown cabochon. This looks like, um, might just be like a mall brand maybe. It's pretty. Let's see. That one measures nine, so that's 18. But yeah, I like this. I'll do two on this piece. <clears throat> okay. These feel like wood, but maybe plastic. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is. Um, let me just check something really quick. No, okay. Yeah, let's see. And these have that cool, like, button little pops in and out closure. That's kind of cool. So that's 18 inches. Do two on that. Okay. Uh, the chain is, it looks tarnished. I wouldn't even worry about the chain. I'm going to leave it on here. But I do love this pendant. I like these cabochons on here. It's got purple, like black, white. It looks like super 80s geometric. I mean, this thing is sharp. This could hurt somebody. I don't think that's smart to put at the end of your, <laughs> at the end of your pendant, but hey, it could be a weapon too. So who knows? Well, let's see. Okay. This is glass. I don't think these stones are anything. Oh, okay. Well, they are coming up. Unless it's probably the the bubble, but uh, yeah, I like this. Just it's really just for the pendant. I'll go ahead and measure the chain. That's nine, and then the pendant is two inches. So I like this a lot. This is different. It's unique. Some of the bubbling looks a little cloudy, but it's white. So I don't know. I just think it's cool. But this thing is super sharp. I mean, you could cut yourself for sure. So know that. I mean, anything I send out, I bubble wrap and package it up. But I'm just saying, if you're gonna wear this, this is very sharp um so i'm gonna do six on this piece it's an interesting piece very unique and we have this pretty it looks like antique silver um on a black i guess it's a velvet kind of cord uh, let's see it measures eight and then another inch and a half for the pendant and it's got these clear stones here yeah so that's a nice piece i would do two on this one oh this is cool i like this oh that is adorable i love seahorses i think they're so interesting how the males carry the babies and all that it's so cool i just love it oh, let's see i'll measure it with the extender out so that's 10 and then the pendant is two and a half inches so yeah it's a nice um Corded chain, got nice silver tone accents, lobster claw. But for me, this pendant is amazing. This is so cool. So for this, I would do five on this. I think this is so cool. Very interesting, very neat. Okay, put that aside. I don't know if this is maybe a headband. Let's see. Uh, all I know is it's a little tangled right now. Okay, I've got a little stone here. It's like a gray color on this little black. It's a very just like generic, uh, doesn't feel like even velvet or anything. It's just like a black, it's not cord either. I guess a ribbon, I don't know. So that goes down to 13 inches. I would do a dollar on this. It's cute, the little caged. Um, it looks like a little quartz or something. It might be. No, I don't know. It's not coming up glass or anything else. So. All right, dollar on that. And this is the thing it was caught up in. I guess it could be for your hair. It could be a choker. I'm not sure. I don't like the way it twists like that. Maybe it's supposed to... Okay, that's why. 
All right, so let's see, that's 16 inches. I guess it could be a choker or you could use it to pull it up over your, on your hair, like a headband kind of, but um, might be tight. And then it has where you can adjust here. So that's cool. A dollar, it's gray, it's like fabric. And then it has all these little stones. It looks like everything's there. It's got a big clear stone there. Yeah, it looks good. Dollar on that. All right, so we have this. I don't know if this is a boutique. Southern Soul, and it's S-E-O-U-L. That's cool. Um, I like, I don't love tassels, but I actually like this one. I think this is cute. Turquoise, I like this pendant. And they were trying to sell it for 20 So I think um, I would do four on this. I like it. It's a nice piece. And it's not going to be an accurate length because there's a little bit in the card. But this by itself, the, without the necklace, goes to 15 And then with the pendant, it's another two inches. But I'd say there's probably two more inches on that. Plus, it has an extender. So you can wear it quite long <clears throat> or shorten it up a little bit. So four on that. Okay, and, oh, I was going to say it's just a black cord. No, it's got a little cross crucifix on here. Uh, make sure it's not silver. I see a little bit of a mark here. No, I don't think so. Well, could be just, I think, I can't remember what doesn't attract. Maybe stainless steel, or I can't remember. But um, yeah, it's just a corded with the pendant in the middle. That's about 10 inches. And how do we do two on that? Here we have puka shells, pretty pink, peachy, and white. Those are nice. That measures 18. I don't see a maker on that. And it's got these silver or beads right here between March stars. This is nice. Usually they're kind of crappy, the ones I've seen in my boxes. This is a nice one. Um, this one I would do three on. There we go. Got that gunmetal or hematite, hematite, I'm not sure. It's a cool design. It's got that uh, barrel clasp. So the chain goes to eight and a half, but the pen it goes to nine and a half. So this is neat. I like this. I love that gunmetal color. It's really nice. Interesting piece. I like this. Um, $3 on that. We've got, this looks like a little fast fashion. There's a little bit of that uh, oxidation there, a little bit of wear. Um, the chain goes down to 10, pendant goes down to right short of 12. So that's pretty little pendant um but because of that little bit of wear and stuff i would do a dollar on this okay this looks like i had a romans one that was similar to this the romans the mall brand um pretty pearls i mean they're faux pearls and this little silver tone necklace let's see the chain by itself goes down to nine and the pendant's like another half inch so yeah i think that's really it's a nice looking set I would do three on this. Let's see, last two. This almost looks like little rosary beads. It's got like a black lace on top. These uh, clear stones, and then it feels like plastic. Looks like tiger's eye. So the chain goes down to nine and a half, and the pendant goes down to almost eleven. So yeah, it's kind of cool, neat looking. Two dollars on that. We have this long gold tone. It looks like hammered kind of finish on those pieces. And then, yeah, there's space in between. This one's very long. This is a, let's see, that goes down to 21. So very long chain. You can double her up or wear it long. Really pretty. So $3 on that. And oh my goodness, thank the Lord I am done. So that's the end of it. You're going to see some editing and slotching stuff together just because I just had to get done and this 
was insane. I've never had problems recording like that. <clears throat> But um, I got through it. Yay. So thanks so much for everybody that um, has been supporting the channel. Thank you for coming in and watching. Thank you for your purchases. Thank you for your consideration and your time and for um, helping educate me on certain things when I don't know. I appreciate it. That's the only way you can learn. And um, I just so appreciate it. So um, I will see you guys in a couple of days. I know I'm going to have um, a package coming in, two or three. And... Um, one more mystery box that's coming in next week, I think, of um, wrestling and got a few things to uh, to talk about. So I will see you guys soon. I hope everyone stays healthy and well, and um, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.